Hey everyone, Brian from Sioux Generis Brewing here. It is about 8.30 in the morning on Sunday, July 9th, 2024, and it's time for the second episode of the 50 Meter Beer Project. You can maybe see behind me here, I am just finishing the sparge on a sour IPA, so I figured this would be a good chance to do a quick update on what's been going on on the farm. So not much uh, interesting has gone on with my hops. They've done exactly what I want them to do. They've climbed quite nicely to the top of the house. They are starting to send out some side arms. I think we might even be getting the beginning of some flowers. And so with a little bit of luck, we'll have uh, a good hop harvest again this year. Uh, last year I got quite a bit. I'm expecting double that this year. Uh, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with all that, but they're doing well nonetheless. I do have a little bit of trouble with slugs on them. Uh, it has been a little wet here this year compared to in previous years. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do about that, but it is what it is. But when it comes to the barley, this is where things are quite a bit different. Uh, this year I'm only growing one variety, and because I'm only growing one variety, I've actually learned some interesting things about that variety uh, that I got wrong last year. So I'm just gonna head over to the barley field here in a second, and I'll show you what we've discovered. So last year when I was growing the bear, I noticed it was always quite a bit shorter than the Harrington, the more modern variety that I was growing. And I just assumed that's the way that this bear was. Turns out I was wrong. You can see here, this bear is quite a bit taller, has much larger heads on it uh, than a lot of the bear I saw last year. I don't know how well this shows up on video. But you might notice that this patch here is almost perfectly square. And what I think this is, is I think we have an old outbuilding here. Uh, our farms been uh, in production for about 150 years. We found a lot of old foundations and I bet you there's another one down here and I just happened to put the bear in the wrong spot last year. So I'll know next year to try and avoid this area or at least to do a better job amending the soil. So that's the one thing I learned but I've also had a problem this year and that's we've had some pretty extreme weather, some pretty bad wind storms. And I think you can see this here. I have some pretty bad lodging going on. Now this grain can still grow, can still produce, it's just at a higher risk of fungal disease, it's also a lot harder to harvest. So I'm going to have to try and do something to fix this. I might run a rope from uh, this stump here to a post down at the other end and just see if I can't create kind of a barricade that will help hold it back up. Uh, but this is not ideal, obviously. But up here, where we haven't had lodging, you can see that the bear is doing quite well. It's nice and tall, it's about waist high on me, uh, and it's doing uh, quite good. Except again, we have a little square patch back here where it is a little stunted, but in this case, I know exactly what's going on. We had garlic here last year, and I guess mixing uh, onion type plants and barley is not a great idea. So again, for next year, I'll know not to plant in that particular area. So anyways, that's the update. I know it's a short video, but I didn't want to go into the depth I did last year, otherwise this year's series would be completely redundant. So I just thought I'd give a quick update on um, both the successes and, <laughs> as you can see here, some of the failures that I have had uh, this year in my 50 meter beer project. So until next time, I'm Brian, and thank you for joining me.